I'm Olivia Saez. This is Real French Food, and we're actually making a comfort classic, a French dish that is really just the best one that you can do. It's got mussels, it's got fries. Don't freak out, we're doing fries, but we're roasting them, so they're gonna be really healthy. This is mussels, also called moule frites, mussels and fries, and watch how quick and easy this is, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is take our potato, which I've already peeled, and we're gonna chop it up into fries. Now, check out these pieces here. There are a bunch of different pieces I've already chopped up. They can be any size, any shape. So we'll take our potato, make sure your fingers are out of the way as much as possible, okay? And then we'll have a nice flat edge and we'll just slice into our potato. And when you do it, make sure that you have the thickness that you want for your fries. If you want a steak cut fry, make it a little bit bigger. If you like the shoestrings, obviously make it a little bit smaller. And then we have the flat edge now. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing. We'll cut again. And now we have a nice, relatively decent steak fry. And we'll spread our fries all throughout our dish. And to this, we'll drizzle some extra virgin olive oil, which I have here. You don't want these fries to stick to the foil and you really want them to be nice and golden brown. So what you wanna do with these fries is pop it into a 400 degree oven, and I would honestly do anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. It really depends on your oven and how quickly and how thoroughly it cooks your potato. Um, if you really want a nice, well done potato, get it more on that 40 minute side. But definitely check it throughout. I like to leave it for a while and just let them crisp up. Okay, so to get our mussels taken care of, all we need are just a few simple ingredients. We'll let them simmer together, add our mussels, get our fries out, and we'll be done. So this is really easy to do. So to our stock pot, all we need to do is add a cup of regular water and a cup of white wine. And I also have a chicken bouillon cube in there as well. You can add just regular chicken stock, or if you wanna do fish stock, that's fine too. Whichever stock you like the best, go ahead and add a cup of it. And then again, a cup of white wine, and the wine can be any kind of grape that you prefer. I love Chardonnay, so we'll just add the Chardonnay in there too. So we'll turn our stove on here, and we'll go ahead and let this start to cook down. To this, I'm going to add some shallots, and this is about one medium shallot. And then we're gonna add quite a bit of garlic, actually. This is a really garlicky dish. So we're probably gonna do about a tablespoon worth of garlic. And then finally, two bay leaves and we'll go ahead and we'll let this simmer. And you do have a lot of white wine in here, so you really wanna burn off as much alcohol as you can. So we'll let all of these flavors simmer together. And if you'd like, you can actually add your mussels right now at this stage. If you have them cleaned and they're not yet cooked, by all means, add them to this stage. But I actually already boiled my mussels. They're already cooked and good to go. So I'm gonna let this cook and simmer down and then I'll add my mussels later. So our broth is simmering really nicely. I have my mussels here. Again, I have pre-boiled them just to get them clean. You certainly don't have to do it. You can throw these in all nice and raw and ready to, to cook early on. We'll get that to simmer a little bit just to heat up the mussels and then we'll go ahead and plate this and we're about to get our fries out too. So to plate, we don't really need too much broth. This isn't a soup. This is more just a garnish. Now this dish also has quite a bit of parsley as an option. If you'd like to add a ton of parsley to this dish, by all means, go for it. And then we'll take our fries. Be careful not to burn yourself. These can be hot. Use tongs if you'd like. And we have, I'm gonna eat another one of these. Mmm, the perfect, perfect dish. Your mussels are super healthy, nice and hot. Your fries are homemade, they're so good. This is one of my favorite dishes to make. So enjoy this French traditional comfort food and à votre santé.